Hello everyone, it's Jessica, and today we are back with another Sailor Moon video. And today's video is going to be how to create your own Sailor Moon Odango shields. And those are the red hair pieces that go on her buns. So what you will need for this video is clay. And I got this from Michael's. And I do not remember how much I paid for this because this was a little while ago. I actually used this clay to make the brooch, which I wish I kind of would have recorded for you guys, but here's what it looks like. And for the back of it, I'm using a hair clip like I'm going to do for this project. And I'm just going to connect this to the bow once I get the bow made. So, you will also need hair clips. Oh, there's a big glare. Yeah, and I'll get one out for you guys, actually. And these, I believe I got from Walmart. No. Not sure how much I paid for these either. I'm guessing like two or three dollars, something like that. But here is what the hair clip looks like. And it's very easy to open. Just doop. And then you will also need something with a curved, rounded area. And I'm going to be using my spoon holder. But you can use just about anything. And honestly, you don't actually need to do this, but I just want this to be really smooth and flat for these pieces. For the brooch, I did not use this. I actually just molded it out with my fingers because I knew I was gonna have all these other things on here so it wouldn't be like super necessary to have it really smooth. But for these I want it to be really smooth and crisp so that's why I want to use the spoon holder or whatever you guys have. So the first thing you will do is set your oven to 275 degrees. So now you want to get out your clay. So then you're going to go ahead and open up your clay and you're going to take out the red clay and the white clay. And you'll put the rest to the side because you will not need them. And since I don't have an actual mat to do this on, I just grabbed a magazine and I'm going to be using that. So now what you'll want to do is you'll want to cut your red clay or tear it off. I'm going to cut mine, so just open it up. And then you're probably going to need about half of one of these blocks for each Odango shield. So I'm just going to cut it in half just about. So then you have to start work kneading the clay until it's soft. So once you have it nice and soft, then you're either going to mold the clay out into a nice circular shape that is also curved a little bit, or you can do like me and take something that has a rounded bottom and we'll mold it down into that until we get the shape we want. So just stick it down in the bottom and then mold it out into a nice circle shape. And at, at, before you get it completely done, you also want to take your clip that you're going to use and measure it, because you don't want it to be too much bigger than the clip, but you also don't want it to be too small. So mine is not big enough, so I need to keep going. And 
and it's still a little bit Okay, so now we have it at a good shape. So we're gonna take the hair clip and press it down into the, oh, the oven's ready. <laughs> so anyway, you're gonna take your hair clip and gently press it down into the clay where it is stuck in a little bit, but you're not done yet. So either take some of your white clay or some of your red clay. I'm just gonna cut off some of the red clay. And you don't need very much, just a small, small amount. I just cut off this small little sliver. And once again, you'll have to knead this real quick. So, now that it's kneaded, you're gonna take this little piece and take it in, break it into two pieces. Then make both of these little pieces tiny little short worms, like so, and where it has these little edge pieces with the holes, you're going to stick the clay over these to give this more support. And I'm going to use my knife to get down in here further to smash it down a little better so it's nice and tight. And then just smooth it out a little bit. And then you'll do the same thing to this other side. And as you can see this side raised up a little after getting that the opposite side down. And once again, I'm going to take my knife to get it underneath here so it's nice and flat. And then just smooth it out. So now the main part of this is done. So now you're going to carefully peel it up. And I just messed mine up a little. So if yours gets messed up a little bit like mine did, just carefully touch it up. It's not a big deal. Okay, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's nice and smooth, which is what I wanted. And if you want, you can just run it through here or whatever you're using to give it an even smoother finish on the edges. So now, what you're going to do since you have this first piece done, is you're going to take your white clay now, get it opened up, and you're going to take a tiny sliver from the white. And just like we did with the red clay, you're going to knead it. And if you have a little color mixed in with yours like I do with mine, after this is all done, you can just go over it with some paint and it'll be good as new. Okay, so now that it's nice and kneaded, you're going to make it into a nice long snake. And I think this is a good thickness. I do not know if it's long enough though, so I'm going to make it a little longer. So we're going to test this out to see if this is long enough now. So you'll just put it around the edge. And I don't think I have it long enough. Or do I? Yeah, actually I made it long enough. Wow, I can't believe it. So, now that you have it at the correct length, pick it up and you're slowly 
going to connect it by smashing it down to your red piece. So the hardest part is going to be to get it all nice and smooth. So now you're just going to work on getting it smoothed out. I have out. both my pieces done now. So you're going to take a piece of parchment paper and a pan and you're going to put both of your pieces in the pan, like so. And depending on what kind of clay you purchased and how thick you made it will determine how long you need to bake it. For me, mine's going to be 15 minutes. And now we wait. So I just got mine out of the oven. I let them sit for about 10 minutes. And I have to emphasize, once you take these out of the oven, please let them cool off because the metal clip on the back will be very, very hot. And you do not want to touch it. But this is what they look like now that they are all done. And I'm overall pretty happy with these. They're not perfect, which that doesn't really bug me, but I am very satisfied. So I went ahead and put one of them in my hair so you guys can see that they do stick well. I do not have my wig yet. I ordered it about three weeks ago. It's still gonna be a while before it gets here, but I'm really excited. I will show you guys my wig once it comes in. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait for you guys to come back and see more videos. So all you Sailor Moon fans, let me know what you think of this video. And sending pugs and kisses your way. Bye!